How do you uh, how do you look at monetizing this business and 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 how do you see the business growing over time? Well, we've got four revenue streams that we're looking at right now, but I think the strongest, the ones that we're really focused on, are sort of the um, the use uh, model, like um, Dropbox or okay. or um, or WeVideo, where at a certain since it's cloud based at a certain scale. You know, right. like if, you've, if you're using five gigs of, of storage, then you're, you're going to pay a particular monthly amount. So that's one aspect of it. Um, and another, uh, I think another major aspect of it is the um, sponsored content. And the, the way I can explain that best is, uh, you know, like any auto company, say BMW, when they go to shoot a commercial, will shoot eight hours of video. And they'll use three minutes of it. Right. But wor worldwide, they have so many people who would love to have access to that footage because BMW, I, I own a BMW, so I know how <laughs> rabid you can be. I love my BMW. So if I had access to some of that that stuff, that that that, that footage that they had had shot, and I could make my own commercials with it or make my own stories using it. I'm, it would be it would be a phenomenal service that they could provide me. At the same time, since TumbleCloud is structured from the ground up, um, wow. unlike some of the other uh, um, like the other video sharing services where you have everything rendered as a single file, on TumbleCloud every piece that you put together stays discrete. So that from a business standpoint. Um, BMW could track every use of every little clip that it used. Like it could say, hey, we've got this clip of this powder blue um, Series 5 and we've got one of this Dusty Rose Series 5 and let's just see what people use. And they could, they could see really easily that like 85% of the people use the powder blue and all of a sudden you've got, you've got um, information that you could get no other way.